All right, hello everyone. Ron here from Little Blues. And uh, we got kind of one more project before the snow falls that I really wanted to get done. You guys know we got this addition done with the hay storage. That's worked out so nice already. Just in the couple, the week or two that I've had it done. We've got straw in here. The bags are some hay that we can feed uh, the bunnies. Um, 260 bales in there makes for a really nice uh, easy source of hay as I'm feeding these guys um, you can see got hay nets uh, out every day these guys get access to good grass hay every day and uh, this year even in the summertime we had uh, we were feeding hay even with that secondary pasture out there but today's project that I want to kind of wrap up in the barn is I've got my uh, got my opening here and I want to get a door installed so I can that'll go flat against here but it'll swing out and close off kind of the main portion of the door or excuse me main portion of the barn and that'll give me this little alleyway Kind of another feeding area for the uh, alpacas so we can feed them on this wall and um, they won't have access to the inside of the barn while everyone is in their stalls you know it's important for us to feed everyone in their own stall area so this is just something uh, and if i ever did want to lock up the uh, the animals then um, you know we could keep them in the barn but typically We've got this entrance, and then I also have the back door entrance, which is really nice in the summertime to allow kind of for a breeze to come through. I got the door back here, but um, yeah, we will uh, we'll get a door in here. Again, when it's open, it's just going to go against this wall. You guys know I kind of like making these doors where I take two by material on the outside, put plywood in, really makes for just a good solid door. So I got this door made in the garage here. So here's my door that I just made. It's about five feet wide and four feet tall. And that should go nicely in here. So let's get a door on the barn and get this project done. Right, Betty? Yeah, you can. All right, we got... We got Betty and we got Snoopy. We got some supervisors. Turkey's back there, usually they're here. I'm sure they'll uh, come up and make sure everything is to regulation. You gonna help Lucy, huh? You gonna help? Oh, here comes Elfie. Elfie's helping. So I got my hinges on here, uh, my two by four here, and it looks like I may have to, <laughs> really close to my little rabbit uh, hatch. And Dolly and Snoopy are concerned, aren't you? All right, I got some two bys. Um, I wanna raise this up, but I might be a little high here. So I think I'm gonna, Bring it down just a bit. I want some clearance when we get um, hay and everything with our deep litter method. So we'll get that down and uh, get this door screwed on here. All right. All right, you knew it was a matter of time until the uh, turkey supervisor showed up on the job site, but they are checking my work. All right, well, I'm gonna, these automatic gate latches, I like a lot. Um, I've used these before to actually hold the door against this wall. So I'll put this uh, longer piece on the door and this um, uh, locking mechanism on the two by four 
and that way it will stay secure. And I have been using um, carabiners because they have uh, holes here too. So I'll put a carabiner in these a lot of times just to make sure the goats or whatever don't, you know, get it undone. And uh, so let's get a let's get this latch on, and then I'm going to figure out over here what I want to do um, here to just fasten it. I might just do a simple uh, something like this guy, where you're just putting it in an eye loop maybe even on the top of the door, but we'll figure something out over here after we get this uh, latch on, guys. All right, I think I've changed my mind on the open gate I'm I'm gonna do a different kind of latch because with that uh, with, it, with it sticking out here when you close it I'm already gonna have to do a little modification here by my bunny bunny terium here um, I've got a little collision so I'm just gonna notch this part of the door out and figure out something put a put a block of wood up here and probably do another loop so if I maybe can have something on this corner maybe I can loop it to two different things uh, here open and over there so we're gonna reconfigure that and looks like we have more job supervisors right Mr. Melvin what are you trying to eat down there huh what are you trying to eat you big goofball yeah, so we're going to regroup a little. I'm going to go back to the garage, see what I've got, and see if we can get a solution to, um, to get this door locked both ways. But I'm really happy uh, with how this is turning out so far. And it uh, should be nice to get that extra feeding area in the barn for Bow and Blaze just on the end, keep them out of the weather here when that's closed. Well, I am going to get an eyelet, but I don't have one, and we will uh, um, get that on that door so we can use it on both sides here. We'll put something here, too, and that'll be a nice dual purpose, but it'll mostly be left open. Other two little projects that were kind of driving me nuts, I've got my nesting boxes here, and... This backboard doesn't go all the way to the wall where the goats kind of come up here. And I guess Elfie does too. So I wanted to get a piece of plywood on here to cover that so their little goat droppings don't fall in my nest. Which looks like I need to redo those. And then the other little project, I had a 1x12 and uh, wanted to get this up on top of here so when we get our dishes ready for feeding we can just grab them and go the girls have a harder time I can kind of reach in the, the feed room and they have a harder time with that we still need to redo a few things in the feed room just getting it kind of tweaked the way we want it but it's getting close so I'm happy it's a <laughs> chilly enough day I'd say these pigs are ready for supper all the time Right, Pebs. <laughs> right, Wilma. Yeah. But uh, it's nice to get a few little things done. Um, it's been a great weekend for... Everything is kind of starting to stay below zero. Um, the only other thing I want to do is get the bunnies a climate-controlled water dish. I'll need that because they... Uh, they are just going to have frozen water otherwise. Hey, girls. But we've got straw in their little box here. They're staying nice and warm. And uh, so we gotta, we got to do that. But otherwise, they are living their best little rabbit lives. So, so thank you guys once again for tuning in to Little Blues. We love sharing our little crew with you. 
and all the little projects, and just all the animal fun that we like to do. So until next time, we will see you guys later.